Hey YouTube, this is Dave's Motor Cars, and I'm just going to do a quick review walk around video of my 2012 Camaro RS. Uh, and if we get started real quick here, you can see it has the uh, upgraded 20 inch RSSS wheels and the HID and uh, Halo headlight uh, upgrades. And uh, we'll get a little more in depth as we go. Enjoy. Here is the uh, automatic start feature on the Camaro. First you lock it and then hold down the start button. And it doesn't sound too bad for a V6. Right off the bat you probably noticed that my wheels were black and uh, that's obviously because I plastic dipped them. It's a very uh, cool, easy process to, you know, change the look of your Camaro. I also did the side emblems and the rear RS, the tail light bezels, the back emblem, all that good stuff. It looks good with the black top. As we come into the interior, you know, it's just like any other Camaro interior, except it has the RS gauge cluster down there, and I have a custom Lloyd mats, uh, Camaro 4 mats, uh, they're really nice, I really like them, and, uh, let's see here, uh, here's the key fob, it probably looks like most of the other, uh, key fobs, it's got the, hold on, it's got the, uh, the trunk button and the automatic start, uh, I'll show you that in a minute. But, uh, dash lights and everything. Got just over 50,000 miles on there. And you got the aux input and everything and the radio. Can you walk in? Oh, I, uh, I know. Uh, anything with the uh, nice orange feel? It's got the black leather, heated seats. I, um, I got the silver them. side panels and they are lighted Austin. with the strip of light that goes across there. Uh, well, it has paddle shifters, <laughs> uh, all the steering wheel controls, and pretty much, you know, this model is pretty much loaded with the convertible and everything, so uh, it's really nice. Here's what it looks like under the hood. Still got that nasty, shiny dealer crap all over it. I hate this stuff, and I think uh, this particular Camaro has the upgraded uh, bar that goes across there. I'm not particularly sure. I think that's a suspension upgrade. But, uh, yeah, pretty normal. With the convertible, you may think you lose trunk space, but you really don't. You have this thing here that has to be pulled out to put the, uh, the top down, but if you just do that back, you still have, you know, the whole trunk, basically. And, uh, that's a little cover that goes on top of the top when it's down and uh, I'll put the top down so you guys can see it. Uh, we will open the convertible top and shut the door so the wind is kind of annoying. But what you first do, you grab this handle, turn it, push up, turn it back and put it how it is. And then you have the open and close button. and. To my knowledge, you have to hold it, or else it will stop, so I just, you know, hold it for the sake of it, and then it goes down like that. In case you've never seen a Camaro with the top down, that's what that looks like. Oh, and also, uh, this particular color is the uh, Inferno Orange, and it's probably it's in the same uh, same category as